well you already might be knowing how the formatting is done like selecting any range of cells and changing the background color or changing the font color or any other effects like bold effect or italic effect let's consider that we want to format a particular column with specific set of rules for example if value is uh, some less value we want one format a value which is some in between value we want another format for different ranges of values we want different formats to be done say for instance this column has been already conditionally formatted let me tell you that if i if i accidentally change any of the value if i change this particular value to some 50 then you will find the format automatically changes with conditional formatting we are going to enable this suppose that we want to do conditional formatting on this mpg column with these set of rules so first rule is if value happens to be up to 21 then we are going to make it a black background with a yellow font for value between 21 to 30 some another formatting and for all values above 30 uh, some formatting like font color green let us see how we do that well over here we require to see values up to 21 means actually they should be less than 21 because you cannot include 21 in both the categories let's do that so to begin with i select the entire range of cells to be conditionally formatted go to conditional formatting button and click on new rule now over here you can form any of the formatting which is uh, which is already there but over here in our case we want formatting customized to our requirements that's why click on new rule then with the second option selected that is format only cells that contain a specific range of cells over here we will first of all specify the first criterion so it is less than 21 up to 21 or less than 21 less than 21 less than or equal to 21 it may if you have less than or equal to 21 then 21 will be included if you want it less than 21 then please choose less than 21 less than 21 then click on format button and choose the choose whatever fill background background you want to is fill will be enabling enabling you for the background color font will have a foreground color or we call it font color you may give any of the effects you want and click on ok button and also now click on ok button to test whether the changes really have taken place or not and you find over here that changes really have taken place you can test it by by entering any of the other values so you see one thing that only this particular condition has been rendered over here so if value is bigger than 21 seems that the, the formatting hasn't happened now if you experiment it by changing any of the value to less than 21 you will definitely find one thing that formatting has been applied accordingly if you want to add two other conditions or more conditions to this same conditional formatting then choose again the same set of cells range of cells then again go to conditional formatting this time don't click on new rule click on manage rules which will display your rule which you have already created plus now you have a you have a facility of uh, adding one more rule now let us see 
the next rule or let us add the next rule new rule and again choosing the second option so we want for all the cells which are between 21 to 30 between 21 to 30 we want yellow background so fill color yellow font red click on ok so we see that it will be now applied accordingly and now click on ok button so you will find now the second rule has been added also now add the third rule which we have planned similarly it will be above 30 so greater than 30 with the desired background color and desired font color and hence after mentioning all these rules then click on ok and you can see now that the conditional formatting has been applied to those columns with your desired decided set of rules well you can also use the conditional formatting option with already existing options so not necessary that every every time you require to create rules you can have any of the options like this color scales which is just like a heat map okay or anything like uh, data bars so over here you see the data bars so these did these data bars are such that the height of the bar size of the bar is proportional to the magnitude of the value inside that cell okay in this way also in case if you want to undo the formatting or cancel the conditional formatting which has been applied to a particular range of cells then you are free to select the range of cells go to the conditional formatting option and click on clear rules from the selected cell or if you want it to be clear from entire sheet you can clear it clear the rules from the entire sheet the file which has been used for demonstrating these options that is mtcars.xlsx will be provided in one github link in the description section of this youtube video so feel free to try this out with that particular file thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click on like button and for latest updates from me please subscribe to my channel thank you Thank <music> you.